Right, I don't know how true this is, but my thermometer's bouncing at about 48, 49. So nearly 50 Celsius in here today. And that is quite hot. Doesn't feel that hot in here, to be honest. But if that's true, then yeah, I don't think that is really because it doesn't feel that hot. So I'll have to come back and check that later on. Hello all, welcome back. Thanks for your comments, subs and likes. I've uh, gained 16 subscribers this month. So thank you for subscribing to the old and new. Right, I think I'm gonna uh, give you a little look around. I've uh, re-sowed the tomatoes and pricked out them couple that come up. And uh, I think I've got a few more that have started as well now. So I'll give you a little look at them to start with. Right, this is where my uh, tomatoes are in. This little polystyrene box that was like a Christmas hamper. And I've got a bit of glass on top. I'm going to move this in a minute actually, to be honest. So I'll take the glass off. As I said, I pricked out the uh, two that started. So I've got one money maker and one golden sunrise. So I've re-sown five money maker and uh, five golden sunrise there. And I think this is the uh, tomato seeds that I saved from what was it two years ago year ago or whatever it was but this is the uh, cherry tomatoes and i think i've got a couple coming up there so i'll just leave them and uh, we'll see if we get any luck with them other ones what i think i'm going to do actually i'm going to move these marigolds up so they're up there and then move that over to this side because I'm going to get some of this planted out today. I want to get some of that broccoli in the tray in a minute, some of the beetroot, and this beetroot and spring onion, and possibly uh, the other. These are the spring onion white Lisbon that I pricked out that I want to grow on so they get like a little bit bigger a bulb so let me get some of this stuff in a tray and i'll move that along into that place there so it's in the full sun and i'll get these outside These are my uh, spring onions and uh, beetroot. I'm going to put a row of uh, spring onions. Actually, I'm going to put them at, along the edge here. But as you can see, these are my swede and turnip. And if you look at the back there, something, well, it's probably slugs actually have uh, munched the top of them away 
so I saw a garden hack that I'm going to try and use that I've never used before so as you can see this is the shady bit like I said in previous videos this bit gets shaded out quite a lot so what I think I'm going to do I'm going to set it up over there but you'll have to watch till later on for that because I'll do that later on but I've never done it before and it is a new one on me so hopefully it'll work but I need to gather a few things for that first so I'll get these planted out anyway but like I say I'm going to get these onions I'll place them along the edge there do with a beetroot yet really to be honest I'm not sure where I'm gonna place the rest but I'll work it out I'll place them out and then come back all right as you can see I've moved all of them plants out and stuff and moved that polystyrene box but I'm just a bit right it gets too hot because it is quite hot today it's windy but it's very hot so we just have to keep an eye on that. The glass, I haven't put both bits on because, yeah, I want a bit of air gap in there. So at least it doesn't cook them too much. Right, I'll show you where I'm putting stuff now. I'm going to grab my uh, broad beans and uh, may as well plant them out today as well. I'm probably going to have to stake them because it is quite windy. So I've got these little plant sticks. They should be strong enough for now. Yeah, I've got some um, uh, little taggy things in here that I can use to tie them up with as well. So I'll grab that lot and... Uh, get them planted out as well. Right, I've uh, put them spring onions there as you can see. I have been bringing my nice big broad bean out into the uh, daylight, shall we say, so it, it can actually get pollinated, but none of the uh, pods or flowers have set yet. But there is still a lot of flowers as you can see. So hopefully it can get pollinated because this is supposed to be one that I'm saving for next year's broad beans. I placed, I had a few more onions left over. So I've uh, placed them there and I've got the multi sown. Sorry about the shadow. I've got the multi sown beetroot there as well and I've got my singles so they're obviously going to be planted like that but what I'm going to do with my single beetroot is uh, plant them around nearby my manure bin because this is obviously been dropping good old uh, feed down in around the edge of that manure bin so I'll put my single beetroot around there and see how we go, see how big we can get that beetroot. Right, let's see a beetroot and a spring onions planted out there. They should do well there because obviously it's got the manure bin and you get all this soakage away from the uh, manure around this area. So hopefully we should get some nice big... Uh, beetroot and some uh, half decent spring onions right, it's been a few hours since I looked at the thermometer inside I did put a couple of more bricks on there to keep it closed like normal oh, you can definitely feel the heat difference now yep that's a uh, 
49 still. I know I can feel the heat now. It's a different kind of heat, which is pretty weird, but yeah. Right, I'll grab them um, broad beans and them sticks. Like I said, I'll grow a few of them as well and get myself out of here because it is quite hot now. It feels hot anyway, not like earlier. Right, I've got my sticks and I've got some of them ties. So I'll, I've placed them roughly in place. So I'll just get on and do it. The first thing I'm going to do, I think, is uh, put the stakes in. Then I can plant them as close as I can to the stake without putting the stake through the roots and stuff. I got something to prove I gotta take what I hate and finally make a move I think of you and all the shit you don't do Well I'ma make hella sure that I don't become you I have no regrets, yeah I'll tie up my chest I'll never forget what it's like to be in debt Been stabbed in the back bed, I'll show you what happens Pass me the mic and I'll show you with action I feel this pain, you already know Turn that to games, let my money show I've got these things that I can't let go Watch me turn this life into something that you could never own I feel this pain, you already know Turn that to games, let my money show I've got these things that I can't let go Watch me turn this life into something that you could never own
them with tattoos so you can't see Knew it from the start, you had problems with me And the things I could be, I just wish I had seen I feel this pain, you already know Turn that to gains, let my money show I've got these things that I can't let go Watch me turn this life into something that you can never own I feel this pain, you already know Turn that to gains, let my money show I've got these things that I can't let go Watch me turn this life into something that you can never run So fight and fight and die For the things you know you love Do what you think is right And see life do what you want So fight and fight and die For the things you know you love Do what you think is right beans obviously and my broccoli planted out now I have given them another water on top as well as when I was planting them as you just seen I've given them a bit of a water I've given all these seedlings I've done or uh, all, all the uh, planting out I've done today I have given a water I've also given my uh, this is, these are my uh, Brussels sprouts. They're doing quite well. I'll give them a water today, today as well, because it is quite warm and the leaves look a bit droopy. So I've given them a uh, water as well. They look quite healthy, actually. I'm quite happy with them. And these are my uh, cabbage. They're doing quite well as well. They've grown quite a lot. There is a bit of slug damage on this one. But overall, they're doing well, really. Giving them a water as well. But I've done that earlier, so hopefully all of this water will do them. disappear by the time the... Uh, Slugs come out, but yeah, well, that's a fair bit of planting out today as well. So I've done quite well, I think. Now I've done that planting out, I'm going to um, go in my compost bin up there and get some of that grass and paper out of there. Also, I've got some um, terracotta pots down at the bottom there I'm going to grab as well. So I'll grab them, then I'll uh, come back to you. Right, the first thing I'm going to grab is some of my fresh grass cuttings and paper. And I'm going to put a uh, pot full of that. We'll grab a pot full of that. Blimey. This smells anaerobic actually, so I've got some of that for the first bit of the slug trap. That's just shredded paper and grass cuttings. Don't know what that is, but yeah, it's out now. Right, I'll go and grab these uh, two terracotta pots I've got up here so I need to empty that one out because it's got stuff in it but there's another one there as well so I've got that one let me tip that top one out and then I'll come back to you Right, I've taken that out. It was just a clump of wheat, uh, roots, so that was easy to get out. I just need one more thing. A uh, 
watering can full of water. So I'll grab that up and show you what I'm gonna do. Right. Everybody knows that slugs like cool, damp places. So what I've got here obviously is a watering can full of water. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to wet it. Like that. Got some coming up there. And then all you do is by what I can work out and how it works and stuff, is just put that. Maybe not that much. Just put that there. I'm going to give it another water so it's nice and moist. Get one of your terracotta pots and place it under there like that. And obviously these have got holes in the top. Then you get your other big terracotta pot I'm just going to wet it down because why not? You just put your other terracotta pot on top. Like that. And the idea is that the slugs go inside there because it's obviously got a hole in the top of the uh, pot. But you can see snails around it already. It's got a hole in the top of this pot and it's got a hole in the bottom of that pot. Let's try that again. It must be my day for the camera to keep on popping out of its holder. So obviously I've walked it all round. There's a hole in the top there and there's a big hole in the bottom there. So you just place it over there and hopefully that traps some slugs because last year, I think it was last year, my rhubarb got absolutely decimated by slugs. So hopefully this will attract them inside there. I can easily water in the top if I think it's getting dry, but yeah, never tried this before. So I'm just giving it a go, see what happens. Oh, well, there you go. We'll see what happens with that. But that is the uh, general idea. We'll have to uh, see what happens and see if I'm lucky with that. Right, while I was moving that to do that uh, slug trap, I can actually smell that the, uh, all of this grass cuttings it is going anaerobic because I can smell it so I'm gonna have to uh, have a little dig around with my fork in there and then uh, go back in that shed and get a load more shavings to put in the top of this while I'm on that subject these I've topped up with them shavings but I don't know because it feels like they've gone it's quite firm topping if I'm honest I knew it would um, pack down a little bit but yeah it just feels like it's um, got like a crust on top of it now so hopefully the um, spud can come through that but hey, I'm sure if they can crawl through clay and stuff like that, then they can get their self up and out of this lot. But I'm still going to uh, loosen the top up a bit because, yeah, I know these ain't going to come up yet. So, But hey, we'll have to see how we go, won't we? I'll just do them ones. Thanks for watching, commenting and subscribing. And as I say, don't be shy. 
hit the subscribe. Right, catch you later. Bye.